In this video, we're going to look at example one. Jake has invested $12,000 for four years. Interest was compounded monthly at 3% per annum. So for question A, it says calculate the future value of this investment at the end of the four years. The first thing we're going to do here is write the formula down. Future value equals present value times bracket 1 plus R close bracket to the power of N. So starting off with the present value, that's going to be the $12,000. It's the amount of money that we are investing. And next we'll talk about the interest rate R. Now our interest rate is 3% per annum. And you'll notice that they want you to do it monthly, which means that we need to divide this by 12. What do we get when we do 3 divide 12? 3 divide 12 equals 0 0.25. So this is 0.25% per month. We've converted it from per annum or per year to per month. All right. Also, whenever you find your interest rate, you need to convert it to a decimal. So we need to take the 0.25%, divide it by 100, which gives us 0 0.0025. We'll make ourselves a little bit more room here. Okay, next we're going to find N, which is the number of time periods. You'll Here you'll see it says four years. But because we're doing this monthly, we need to times that by 12. This gives us the number of time periods of 48 months. All right, so because it's monthly, we've got to convert everything into monthly amounts. Let's now substitute into our formula here. Our present value was $12,000. One plus our interest rate was 0.25%, but we write it as a zip as a decimal 0 0.0025 and we put this to the power of n which is 48 months. Now all we need to do is take out our calculator and just type it in and work it out. So 12,000 times bracket 1 plus 0 0.0025 close our brackets and put this to the power of 48. What do we get? 13,527. 13,527 and 94 cents. We'll round it to the nearest cent as you do when you work with money. Now we'll move on to question B. B says, how much interest did he receive from his investment in this time? When it asks you this, it's basically asking how much extra money did he make out of this? So we know that he started with $12,000. And by the end of the four years, he had $13,527.94. So if we take the future value and subtract the present value, it'll show you how much money he made or how much interest he made out of this deal. Okay, so we have 13,527.94 minus 12,000 equals, and we get $1,527.94. Anyway, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.